Hi, my name is Dean Vlanick. And I'm Terry Vlanick. And, and we, we are, are Lifesavers. Life I've been married to my beautiful wife, Terry, for over 28 years. I'm the father of four beautiful kids, and I've uh, been coaching track and football for 29 years. I used the line a lot that I was fat and happy. And, um, and now with changing the way I ate and, and, and realizing that you know healthy food can taste good, um, now I'm full and happy. <laughs> Well, there was a multiple of things I've been pretty stubborn over the years. Uh, Terry has been on me for a long time to uh, drop some weight, and uh, and and my doctor Rob Anderson also has been every time I have a physical, I've been hearing it over and over again, and you know it just wasn't happening. I've gotten mad. I've tried to be supportive. I've tried it every which way. It never worked until he decided himself that this is what he wanted to do. So. That's finally what it took. But I think that also shows that once you make up your own mind, then you can do like amazing things. When uh, Terry started attending the um, uh, Eat Right for Life uh, classes with, uh, with Jody, with Nurse Jody, and, uh, and we started, she goes, she wanted to get started on this, and she goes, I can't do this alone. We're not gonna do separate meal plans and stuff like that. So it started with that. The Eat Right for Life class is a WellCOA program, which is the Wellness Council of America. And it's just about eating right for life using common sense principles. So eating more fruits and vegetables, eating healthy fats, eating healthy proteins, really getting rid of the sugar and the processed foods, and of course, drinking more water. So by using those principles, Dean and Terry both really learned how they could apply these skills to their everyday life. It gave you all tips and ideas and just taught you how to eat. I mean, everybody, you think you know what you should be doing, but it came down to like really putting in things that we could just put into our family and start working and he would do it and um, our kids could do it. And so it was, it just taught us to eat, eat right for life. <laughs> when I lost the 45 pound mark, I looked in the mirror and I'm like, okay, yes, I'm a smaller version of myself, but I still look the same that I did when I had 45 pounds more. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, I was happy with dropping the 45 pounds, but I wasn't really happy the way I looked. So I wanted to transition to the weightlifting, and I've been, I've been regular lifting for a year now, and um, uh, you know, my only regret is that we didn't take like a body fat analysis when I started, because I really believe that's good, that would be a true indicator of where, how far I've come. To be a lifesaver, I think you have to take advantages of the different um, opportunities you have in your area. Here in Algoma, we have this fantastic fitness center. There's a lot of different programs that are available. Um, and just be encouraging to, to each other and know that you can start this at any point in your life, regardless of where you're at in your physical well-being right now, no matter what age you're at. Um, you can really start at any time. It's just whenever you're ready. Um, you can make the changes to be a lifesaver. To be a lifesaver is, to, is to, to encourage and get the word out, uh, make things available to them. Um, you know, for instance, I'm doing the, the heart calcium scan tomorrow. I actually saw the poster out in the lobby about it and I took a snapshot so I could, so I could go home and, and call and make the appointment. So I'm doing that tomorrow. And so, that, so it's just having that stuff constantly out there and available to you so that when that person is ready, because a person really needs to be ready, um, they're ready to get up and go and, and start.